Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kylie Leino, and I am currently working at Vero County Vocational Training Center in Estonia. And today I am very, very grateful for the opportunity to speak about the topic qualification of company personnel to carry out in company vocational training. So in a second, I'm going to share my screen with you. And here you are. Now, uh, before, let me slightly speak about two different approaches to recruiting new employees. For example, in Germany, a new recruit should not worry so much about not having previous professional qualification because according to the German education system, a company will provide training to the employee if it's necessary. But uh, in Estonia, it's vice versa. An employee already needs to possess professional skills and qualification and previous work experience. Then the question rises, how then the work labor is trained in Estonia? According to the law, there are two ways to complete full-time studies. The first is school-based study internship. In this case, work practice evolves up to one half of the volume of a curriculum. And the second is workplace based study apprenticeship or work-based learning. And in this case, work practice evolves at least two thirds of the volume of a curriculum. WBL form of study is getting implemented more and more in Estonia, but unfortunately there is one uncovered issue and this is qualification of companies personnel to work as a student side supervisor. And unfortunately, there are not enough of regulations for work-based learning. So the regulations can be seen on the screen and these are following a trainee should have set at the set the student side instructor and su student side supervisor with professional and pedagogical competence and they both would guide the trainee throughout the study period then a supervisor at one placement may have up to four supervised students at a time and the most, the most important in our case or in our presentation at, at the moment is the school shall ensure the preparation of superv uh, supervisors for work-based learning guidance. And the last regulation is the internship placement shall ensure the performance of the work organization and supervision tasks. And this is basically it. Our organization had a wonderful wonderful opportunity to carry out this training, train the trainer in SMEs within a project establishment of two stage industry competence centers of vocational education and training. The test training was carried out during January to March 2019. The curriculum was provided by our Latvian partners and after completing the training program participants were issued a 80-hour certificate. The goal was to offer this program to vocational schools on a permanent basis so that the teachers get qualified for the ongoing independent implementation of courses in all regions. In our case, in the training participated 18 participants who were the owners and employees of SMEs. And by Estonian Occupational System classification, the participants were 67% uh, in the field of technology production and processing, 22% commerce and hospitality services, and 11% IT, telecommunication, and electronics specialists. And out of 18 participants, 56 were male, and 44 were female. And the age gap was between 10, uh, 25 to 54 years of age. About the trainers, 
the number of trainers was four and all the teachers were from our vocational training center. Uh, secondly, about evaluation results. Two study methods were used, uh, written service and, inter and interviews. Uh, the interviews were carried out once at the end of the training with three participants and two trainers and three SMEs, but written service were carried out twice in the beginning and then at the end of the training with all participants and with all trainers. Following research questions. The scope of the evaluation included following questions. The expectation of, uh, of participants, satisfaction of trainees, possibility of implementation of the training in our country, country. And we also wanted to figure out the trainees' opinions about the training's impact on their professional and personal growth and uh, questions how the skills and if the skills acquired during the training can be useful, can be useful to participants' daily work. This, uh, we're happy to announce you that the survey results indicated very, very positive results. 95% of the respondents were totally satisfied with the training and agreed that the training objectives were met. They felt like their participant, participation and interaction were encouraged and highly evaluated. The lecturers were knowledge, knowledgeable about the topics and gave a lot of practical examples based on the real experience and participants could link the theory into practice. And they were totally convinced that it is possible to implement this kind of training in our country here in Estonia. So besides all mentioned above, uh, the trainees and trainers and the SMEs found that it is that the participants acquired enough abilities to work with trainees and I'd like to uh, point out the most useful parts, and these were vocational pedagogy, methodology of practical training, psychology, planning, learning outcomes, assessment methods, curriculum, and participants uh, studied how to set individual goals to work with trainees. Based on the feedback of respondents, answers we would like to recommend following the so the first one would be to develop legally regulated dual vocation training system then this is so so crucial and important that the responsibility and refunding should be shared equally between the vocational school and practical training company and definitely to solve issues of equal payment for interns and smes then it is important and totally necessary to organize complementary trainings bef uh, before upcoming internship for free, of course, uh, to indicate responsibilities and learning outcomes for internship period. So one possibility is to create mentor program. Then participants and respondents, they are expecting government uh, support and to develop system for appreciating and recognizing SMEs who offer quality practical training. And what else was an, uh, indicated that vocational school should regularly and more oftentimes monitor and support trainees during the internship. And um, the training and actually the training indicated that there is a huge demand and interest towards this kind of training. And on the basis of the evaluation results, we can conclude that all three parties, participants, trainers and SMEs, were totally satisfied with the, uh, participating in the non-formal dual training program, trainer, trainer and in SMEs. And it is possible to implement this kind of training here in Estonia. And uh, to finish my presentation, I would like to use James Watkins' quote, a river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. 
and we truly hope that this will be the same with us. At last the world finds its way, or at last our educators will understand the importance of qualified in-company personnel to carry out in-company vocational training. So, thank you for your attention and interest. I was, I am Kaila Leino and goodbye.